Ryan Rangers TV, by the match, many congratulations. Just how pleased are you and the boys with that performance this afternoon? Yeah, delighted. Um, you know, we brought a lot of energy to the game, especially at the start. We set, um, we set the tempo right, and I think we followed it through right to the end of the game. Um, you know, the gaffer mentioned that we, we probably left the Aberdeen game early. Um, you know, so that was in, our, was in our minds today, and we saw the game out really well. Uh, lots of goals coming from all over the pitch. Yeah, you touched on that, the other fact it's five different scorers again. It's, you know, been spread around the, the team right, right throughout this season. Yeah, um, you know, that's been, that's been what it is from the, from the get-go. Um, you know, everyone's been dangerous in lots of areas of the pitch, um, providing lots of opportunities, so, you know, it makes us very diverse. You managed to open the scoring today. We don't often see you scoring headers. Talk uh, through that one. Yeah, I know. It's, I think it's been coming. To be honest, I've, um, Gaff has been Sorry. Gaff has been mentioning. Um, you know, I get into into the boxing uh, more often and uh, get myself on the on the end of some crosses. And um, you know, it paid dividends today. Yeah, absolutely. How pleased overall were you with your own performances afternoon? Uh, yeah, um, you know, the pitch is quite difficult to play on. Um, you know, especially for dribblers. So um, again, the Gaff touched on keeping the. Uh, um, touches to one and two touch, um, popping it around him, and you know I thought we delivered that today. Well done, Ryan. You're the man of the match, top man. Stephen, it's Hello. Becky, Neil, and Mark here. Uh, congratulations, again? three Thank points. You. What did you make of that performance? Yeah, I thought it was really strong. Um, another home win and a clean sheet. Obviously, five different scorers, couple of set plays. So, uh, going to go away very happy, obviously. Yeah, what pleased you more today? The fact you kept a clean sheet, or that you had five different goals by five different players on the pitch? I think then both things obviously please me as a manager, but um, you've obviously got to pick the bones out of it in more detail than that. And I thought we played with real agency today, both in and out of possession. Um, we, we flipped the formation a bit to a 4-2-3-1 to be a bit more bold and aggressive and um, really take the game to Ross County. And then we could have had the, the game done in the first 15 minutes, you know, if we scored a penalty and, and the one that Ryan hits the post. I just thought we looked really dangerous throughout and we, we played some really nice football. We showed a real good style about us but out of possession as well we've done the, the dirty side of the game the ugly bits the running the tackles the competing so um i think in the main um we were fantastic today stevie hi, it's neil uh, well done hi, neil, i know you're, you're talking about the rotation of the, the midfield three you could see it right away where rebo was playing a little bit closer to the front line yeah. but there seemed to me as a lot i was a massive emphasis today on players hitting the box whereas the first 45 minutes of the game last week that sort of lacked a wee bit. Was that something that you definitely worked on and you wanted to really get the players to do? Yeah, I think from an individual point of view, we want the players to be extremely hungry to score goals. We want them to really hit them dangerous areas. Um, mm -hmm. I know you sit next to Mark there, he'll know all about it, Getting you know, running through that goal and getting into that red zone, we call it, uh, to score goals. And, and Ryan ends up getting rewarded for that. Um, you know, Of late, we've had too many people hanging outside the box and not really getting in there so there was an emphasis on the training in terms of agency and then when we get into the areas um, whether it be combination play or 1v1 or crosses we want people to really go and bust the gut and get in there and reward themselves for the good play. Kent was back at it today wasn't he? That's the best I've seen him for a few weeks. Yeah I thought he was outstanding. I think when he he does that selfless running without the ball when he yep. breaks the line uh, running without the ball we know he can play with the ball at his feet we know he's fast we know he can pass um, but I think an extra dimension to his game, which we're keen on, is he's got to break the line and run behind because it gives us such a, a different option to go over. Um, and, you know, if we don't get the first ball, we can pick up the seconds. But when we're up against these blocks, we have to keep disrupting it in as many ways as possible. We can't keep playing in front of teams for the whole game. Um, but he was certainly right back at it today. I think, uh, you know, he could have had a hat trick, but throughout he was a real threat. And the job he does for the team out of possession as well is the reason why I trust him so much. Yeah. yeah, Stephen, well done today. Um, Thanks, man. Aggressiveness is a big part of uh, the way we play the game. I saw it in abundance today, um, mm. right from right from the first whistle. Mm. And see the aggressiveness that per, uh, rolls over to the other players, players with balls. And we're talking mm. about, you know, Kent making the run through the middle. You know, the, the balls that we're playing now, aggressive, aggressive mm. balls. Is that yeah. what we're looking for, middle to last third? You will listen, a big job and emphasis today was on Davis and Kamara really being obsessed with finding our tens and playing forward, playing with a head up. Um, even when we're in the full back areas, be obsessed to outplay and really play forward into buff. And we, we wanted the front four on the ball as much as we can. Um, the speed in which we done that was was fantastic. We played with that agency. And um, you know, the last couple of games we've played, Aberdeen, we left the game too early on sixty minutes. We we stopped doing the right things. And um, last week we came to the game too late, so we asked for a 90-minute performance and the players have delivered.
Well, well Stephen, just finally from us, it's your 150th game in charge of the club. A smile over your face there. How much are you enjoying it at Rangers? Listen, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely honoured honored and privileged to, to be in this position to get the opportunity in the first place. I really understand what the club stands for. Um, I looked in from afar for many years and I had nothing but respect for this club. So to be 150 games in, um, I'm delighted. But um, it's not about me, it's about this team and getting the group um, you know, successful as soon as possible. That's the challenge. Uh, that's what I'll be judged on. Um, it's one step at a time, but we're in a fantastic place and um, we need to get the boys recovered now and, and ready for, for, for Wednesday night, which is a, a huge game for us. But 150, um, I'd like to thank the players, the, the supporters and everyone that's backed me at the club. It's been a hell of a journey, it's been intense and challenging, but I've loved the ride so far.